What's happening everyone? Welcome back to another video. I've been gone for probably eight months now. Um, not gone, but I haven't put any videos up in eight months. Um, I'll talk about that uh, in another video. But for now, I wanted to get this, uh, this question answered for uh, somebody that uh, wrote in and um, see if we can help him out and some other folks because this is something that can apply to a lot of people. I'll tell you right now, this video is gonna run probably nine to 10 minutes, something like that. Now, by the time I'm done, just running my mouth, because this, this is a long topic. I won't read everything he wrote, but basically here's the thing. Uh, he has a bachelor's degree in psychology, associate's degree in um, uh, computer information systems, and a master's in um, management and computer information systems. So um, highly educated fellow no experience in IT and wants to find an entry-level job, is not having any luck, and wants to know what to do. He lives in an area where there's a lot of government jobs, and the salary in that area is usually gonna be a little bit higher um, just because of the, the location um, where it's at. But um, he wants to find something that's Monday through Friday, and <laughs> that's gonna be between 45 and $50,000 a year. So let's, let's start out by setting some expectations. The first expectation is your starting salary is not realistic. Even though you might see job postings for 50K, if you have no experience at all, um, you're not gonna make that. I'd be very surprised if you tried right now, to, if you got hired uh, I'd be surprised if you if you were making 40, okay? That's just, it doesn't matter where you are, that that's just the way it goes. You're not gonna make any more than that with, with, uh, with no experience. And that's just a help test and a help desk type job, okay? Which is where most of us will start. Now, the other thing, you can throw out the idea of working Monday through Friday and having weekends off um, because that's just not the reality. Again, in the world of IT, most people are gonna be working you know, an average of 50 to 55 hours a week in IT. So you can expect to have a crazy schedule and um, just kind of work your way through it. That's, that's just the way it works. Uh, there's, no, there's really no way around it. It's very difficult to find work where you have that eight to five and weekends off. Um, they're hard to come by, okay? They're out there, but they're hard to come by. And when you do find one of those, you're gonna to have to have some experience behind you. It's not gonna come up at the beginning stages of your, of your uh, career within IT. The next thing is, um, I had asked a question back to him before I made this video, is what area of IT you want to focus on? Um, and he stated that uh, when he was going through his uh, college degrees, that he, hold on a second, let me look this up again. Um, it was, he had some training as an IT manager, computer help desk support and system analysis. Okay, three very different things. Okay, uh, system analysis is, is really, is a really broad, uh, really broad term. Can mean a lot of different things. Computer help desk support, probably where you're going to start, most likely where you're going to start. And being a manager in IT, well, uh, you know, perhaps you can become a manager in IT, but even, even without managerial experience, you're not going to get a job either. So you're kind of stuck. Um, you're going to have to start at the bottom no matter what. I would say for you right now, or anybody that's in this type of scenario, okay? And there's a lot of people that are, that are, that are in a similar scenario where, you know, they're looking for work, they're, they're not, um, they don't have the um, credentials as far as, you know, they don't have any certifications or anything like that. Um, here's, here's the thing. What I would say is go get an A-plus certification at least at the very minimum, okay? for your own sake so that you can learn hardware, okay? And how, how hardware works and things like that. And then uh, Network and Security Plus uh, will also help you as well to gain those, those basics 
of technology, which I explain in another video uh, that I have out there on, you know, what are some of the basics before you get into IT that you need to know of. It's very, very important stuff. Uh, no matter what area you decide to land, you need to understand the very foundations of computer systems, right? So in your particular case, you are going to have to continue to work your full-time job and study on the side for your certifications and get, and get those out of the way. And um, sorry to tell you, but I know you spent probably 10 years of your life going through college, getting three different degrees, but it's not going to stop here, okay? IT is a constant, evolving, um, you know, living, breathing thing, and you're going to have to continually study to keep up and stay relevant. So you're going to have to go out there and, and just hustle. Um, it doesn't look like you're, you're, you know, you have no obligations. You said you're, you know, you're single, have no kids or anything like that. So I, I don't see any excuse. If it's something that you really want to do, you could do it. Uh, you're just going to have to go and put in those extra hours. And then, and then once you get a certification and maybe a little bit of personal experience on the side, um, or some things that you follow from some of my other videos where I talk about how to get entry level job, then you can, then you can go and find, uh, start applying for those entry level type positions. Um, because even as entry level, you need to know something, you need to have some sort of knowledge as to what's going on. And the only way to do that is by studying and, and doing some of it. I mean, it's all in the doing. That's how we learn. Okay. Um, I mean, you, you, you're, you're well educated and that's probably why you haven't gotten calls back because your, your resume just looks really, really interesting. I don't know what other kind of jobs you have listed on there, but, but three degrees in different disciplines is, um, it, it, it's probably setting off the, the hiring manager a little bit by thinking, what exactly does this guy want to do with his life? You know? And, you know, I commend you for, for, for all that education, but I'm going to tell you in IT, it's really not going to take you that far um, because we learn as we go on this type of uh, journey here in, in IT, and that's just the way it is. You know, I don't have any degrees. I, I got a, um, well, I don't know. I got a certificate maybe, an a associate's certificate back in 1999, um, in uh, computer technology, but that's really it. I, I don't have any other credentials behind me, and um, I've done very well for myself. And it's and it's it's actually going that way. You know, there's a lot of companies out there, a lot of tech companies that really are shifting away from the requirement of having a bachelor's degree and and all these degrees um, because they understand that it's really unnecessary uh, for most of what we do in this in this world. Okay of IT. So last thing I want to say, federal jobs, government jobs. Uh, a lot of those companies are going to require a security clearance. And so that's going to be another hurdle that you have to try to get through. They're expensive. They take a long time to get. And um, it's just something you have to think about. Now, there are companies that might sponsor you or, or, um, or pay for it, but just kind of keep that in the back of your mind as well. Um, and I don't know, I can't speak for entry level jobs in that sector. I don't know if they have them or not, but, um, you know, that's something to just keep in mind. That is the long answer for you. It might not be exactly what you wanted to hear, but hey, I'm just like my intro says, I'm just raw, real. And I tell the truth, you know, I just say it as it is, give you some real information as to what's going on in the IT world and uh, take it for what it is. You know, I hope you do well. I wish you the best. Um, you just need to go out there and work. And, uh, and by work, I mean work on yourself. Start with yourself. And uh, that's it. Let me know if that helps. If you had any questions, you can leave them at the bottom under the comments section. And uh, if this is your first time stopping by, I appreciate that. Um, subscriptions are always welcomed. And um, we'll talk to you on the next, uh, next video. See ya.